Spina bifida is a condition that arises from a problem that happens during normal human development very early on. It really occurs just a month after conception when one of the very first steps that normally happens is that the embryo, which is flat and shaped very much like a, very, like a penny, starts to roll in the middle of what will become the back. And when that process is disturbed, the spinal cord does not form properly. It can happen anywhere along the spinal cord from the lower back all the way up to the brain, but the most common location is in the lower back. And when the spinal cord doesn't form properly, all of the other steps that normally occur after development, meaning that the muscles, the bone, the skin that form over the spinal cord, that doesn't happen properly. And what the infant with spina bifida is commonly left with is an opening in their lower back that is continuous with the spinal cord. This is a problem for two reasons. One is that the, the normal skin doesn't have an opportunity to protect those sensitive structures. And number two, the spinal cord is in effect arrested in a very early stage of development. And that has very significant implications with respect to function of that child in their legs um, and also their bladder and bowel function. Depending upon the level of the spinal cord that's affected, the um, weakness of the legs can be either mild, moderate, or severe. And it is our job, really, to first of all close that opening in the lower back and then also later on deal with some of the implications and problems that are caused by that abnormality of spinal cord development.